decision uh, to develop the battery in-house, we understood that in order to further improve the performance on all aspects such as energy, which reflects the range or safety or lifetime, we need to understand what is going on inside the cells, which are the key components of the battery. And therefore, in our group, uh, we really investigate all those in all different aspects, uh, from a material level, to the cell level, to the battery level, uh, seeing not only uh, the materials themselves, but also how they interact to each other, identifying new material technologies, identifying new cell designs, new uh, ways of implementing the new cells in a battery. So we believe by just, we believe that by investigating the whole range covering from the cell, which is the heart, to the end system, which is the battery, uh, we need to have a complete understanding of all the phenomena taking place and how they interact. Otherwise, we cannot further improve uh, their performance. So for example, the targets has been set for some of the um, battery, um, battery technologies in terms of energy density uh, in order to meet the driving range of electric vehicles needed to be uh, two times greater than what the current uh, lithium-ion battery technology can provide. And this is one of the reasons we really need to look at uh, how we can design the batteries from the basic chemistry uh, within the cell and look beyond how to uh, redesign the cell configuration the, at the pack level, how you position different cells uh, in order to meet really the target of energy density requirement in order to meet the driving range. Right? So with the launching of these uh, new um, vehicle series, for example, I3 is pure electric and uh, also I8, mm -hmm. which is a heavy sport vehicle, heavy hybrid vehicle, plug-in hybrid, plug hybrid vehicles requires a significant amount of uh, really energy storage uh, from uh, lithium-ion batteries. And so having battery technologies that can uh, last a lifetime of 10 years, uh, that can uh, provide a really fast charging and really the power requirement uh, and the safety and cycle life or the lifetime uh, is really critical. Uh, to enable uh, the success mm -hmm. uh, operation or success, something of this fleet. And also, of course, without compromising uh, the driving experience. Uh, when someone is driving an electric car, it should have uh, the same feeling as if driving any other BMW uh, model. That is also a very important factor for us. The projects uh, we have set up is for three years. Essentially, materials research or basic uh, research for battery materials. This project uh, at BMW is for five years. Mm -hmm. Our projects usually are uh, for three years. And of course, there is always the possibility of extension, uh, depending on uh, the collaboration. And so far, our collaboration with uh, Young is going very well on that point. Uh, the reason for that is also uh, based on the targets uh, that we want to meet. Uh, we have several targets uh, that uh, we need to address uh, in order to improve uh, the battery cells and their performance. And what we always try to do is that we take the issue from the cell level that we have in automotive application, identify its issues, what its uh, what it's inside the cell. We uh, try to isolate a specific target that we want to improve and then we identify the partner and in that case with Young we identified two uh, key challenges that we would like to address. Uh, one is the interface uh, mechanisms uh, between electrodes and electrolytes and the other one is uh, to develop new electrolytes uh, based on solid state electrolytes that have the potential to improve the safety of the, of the vehicles. So I guess uh, maybe in summary is uh, uh, currently it's for three years and um, uh, we will be uh, re-evaluating in the course um, whether there will be um, even a new direction, a lot of potential. 
uh, to collaborate, and I think a lot of openness and willingness to to really explore new area. That's why I think for uh, for me it's very exciting to be part of this collaboration, right? So unlike some of the apply the research, right? So one may view this is really you know working with a car manufacturers very applied research, and what w I would argue is we're really looking at a very fundamental basic energy science uh, problem, but has uh, very important implication, and we are really have no uh, working on these projects um, with very open mind, without constraint. Really looking at uh, uh, some of the um, key problems like the electrode, electrolyte interface. Look at ionic conduction from the most fundamental level as possible, and so allow us to potentially really look for. Uh, universal descriptors or universal design principle for the interface and also for the solid state ion conduction.